Hello, this is Sarah with the Knitted Armadillo. I wanted to come on here and introduce myself and start posting some videos of hauls and junk journals and just crafty goodness that I do. Um, I knit and crochet, um, all kinds of things. Uh, watercolor, love doing all kinds of things, crafty. Um, so I went yesterday, uh, it was my birthday, I went yesterday to a antique mall that my husband took me to and then we he took me over to the Goodwill um I didn't get too much at the antique mall because they were pretty high dollar um so we went over to the Goodwill and I got some stuff there not too too much um so let me go ahead and get started start with uh some of notes and cards that I got um just some really pretty cards with the envelopes there's just a bunch of different mismatched um, lots of envelopes. I don't know how I'll use all of these, but I'm sure I'll buy, find a way. That one's really pretty. And I'm doing a beach journal um, for someone, so this will work perfect. And it's a postcard. That one would probably work well too because of the water. Just some, some cards. got those and I was excited to find these I think these are gorgeous I think I paid yep 80 cents 79 cents for these so they're not all here they're missing some but they're all the same same photo and the envelopes that go with them but and I might be able to use this too in a journal And then these, they're all the same, same thing, 79 cents. So the Goodwill by, right by our house, they're, they're pretty expensive. So we go to one right, a couple towns over and they're, they're decent. 79 cents for these as well. Same thing, just blank, blank cars, but those are just so pretty. That color, that red and, or that coral pinky color is really pretty. <clears throat> And then some birds, bird houses, blank with the envelopes. And then I got me some reinforcements to add to my tabs. I can stress them, distress them so that they'll match. And I found these. I don't know what the GRE exam is, but I thought these were pretty cool. And there's a lot of them in here. There's 500, and I think I paid... I'm not sure what I paid for these. I think I paid like one or two dollars for these, but they're all these vocabulary. Sorry if you can hear my dog. He's outside. Um, he likes to talk, but all these word definitions and the way they use to use them. I thought those were pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. They'd be nice for little tuck spots and to hide. <clears throat> so then I also found this. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I thought, oh, I could do a Harry Potter book, and these would be perfect to put in there. And then I want to do a dinosaur book. I saw somebody doing it. I thought they were just the coolest. It was just the coolest book, but I thought, oh, my goodness, how perfect would these be to put in a book? I thought those were pretty cool. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to hold it so it don't. So I got those. Yep, 79 cents. And then I found these from the National Geographic. Same thing, 79 cents. Actually, no, nope, I want to say some of these with the orange tags were, they had discounts. So it worked perfect. It's a cool little box. These are smaller. But I thought, oh my goodness. This, it's a game. I'm not sure how you would play it, but and then I can always cover them. There's a lot of them. A lot of dinosaur. I can only make so many dinosaur journals. Okay. Books. Oh, no. 
Let me do the books and then I'll do my big bag of cards I got for $2. So I found this. This was from the antique mall. I think I paid $2 for this. And it's, of course, as I've seen on other videos, the spine has come off. But uh, that cover is gorgeous. And then they have this really pretty one here. That would be perfect for my beach journal. It's gorgeous. Cut that out, make a card, or use it for a page. And it's got some really nice aging. Space journal would be good for a space journal. And then I got these there as well. Some old postcards. I don't know if they have a date. No, Paris. Thought that one was really pretty too. Same thing. Number two. And then I found this old like caveman postcard. I don't think there's a date on these as well. Nope. Oh, that was cool. And then my son had to get the train. He loves trains. No, no date on that one either. And I got some old photos. I like tucking old photos into journals. I think it's just really cool. S sweet little boy. This one's kind of hard to, oops, kind of hard to see. But really pretty house. And I love the, the round, rounded edges. This little girl. I just really wish you knew the story behind these photos. That would be really awesome. I'm not sure where he's at, but that's pretty cool. So I got those, and then I'm doing a dog journal for my sister-in-law. So I found this Disney 101 Dalmatians. I thought I could cut these out and use them in there. Um, and she loves 101 Dalmatians, so definitely be using this in her book. That's all I got from the, so just this is all I got from the antique mall. Like I said, I think I paid like $2 for this, which is not normally what I would want to pay for a kid's book. And then I found this at the Goodwill. I was so excited. Um, it comes with a book and the envelopes. I don't know if you can see, but they're textured. I just thought that was so cool. So different. And then this is a little address books. With really pretty pictures. And then these cards are just gorgeous. And I think they're... Excuse me. And there's, there's the same. And then there's a couple different ones. But, oh, like an English garden um, or a farm book would be really cute for this. There's a bunch of different ones, and I think they're blank. Yep, they're all blank inside, so that's perfect. So I got those. I thought those were really neat. And then my books that I got. I paid 60 cents. <clears throat> oh, baby Rainy. I just loved the, the imagery, some, some um, dogs from my sister-in-law's book, and then the fish. And I really want to do a hot air balloon book, and I thought, oh, that's perfect. I can make a journal card out of that, or use it in a page. I got this for the beach journal. I love it. It's a story that I could totally use a bunch of these for her journal. Maybe fussy cut some of the shells. And then I got a little golden book collection. I have another one of these and I only paid 79 cents for this book. But I just love it. It's got like all the little little books, the golden books, all compiled into one. And they are shiny pages, but I can 
I've seen some people use gesso or use a napkin, the white napkin and decoupage that on there. But it's got the little pokey, the little pokey dog, the little poke, po the pokey little puppy. And I'll use that in my sister-in-law's book. And then they've got just a bunch of different ones. So, oh, that'd be good for the beach journal. And then I found this, and I didn't know it. I paid 70 cents, but I think it's missing quite a few pages because it starts on page 17. So, yeah, I think it is. But I thought this was just a really cool book. I can fussy cut a lot of this and maybe make copies for because I like both sides. Like, oh, I love the polar bear. Don't like that they're shooting him. Um... Pictures like that, maybe cut those out and make little tiny little tags or something out of them. But I thought that was a cool book. And then I found this one. Now I did pay $3 for this book. But let me move some of these out of the way so it's easier to see. But the writing in this book and some of the illustrations are just gorgeous. Look at the writing. Isn't that pretty? Look at those. You could cut those. I could cut those out and use each of those letters. And the pictures and the green beans. Oh, I just love this. I just thought this was such a pretty, just the lettering inside because it's not normal print. Cut those out. So that'll be good. And then I got these last two here, the story of the jumping mouse. I loved the illustrations in this. They're all black and white, but oh, how pretty is that? Use the flowers and this one's a shiny too, but it can be fixed. It's hard to get it. It's a big book. It's hard to get it all in frame. Oh, just the flowers alone are gorgeous. Look at that one. That is pretty. Yep. I'll use a lot of this and that would be pretty on a pit for a page. And, and then I got the dinosaur book because like I said, I paid 79 cents for this book. Our local one would ask $2, which is crazy. So I got that. Thought those would be cool to use and then the back of this one they actually have a glossary whoops with the definitions i thought that was cool cut those out and use those with tags or on pages but that was all from there and then the last thing i got was from the goodwill i only paid two dollars for this whole giant bag of cards um there's a lot of pretty ones in here there's just a ton of different ones just lots of envelopes lots of cards i mean they just it just goes on and when some of these inside which i'm super excited and i'm glad i grabbed it were these stationaries and this is pretty thick paper so those will be good fold them up in the envelopes put them in there on the pages use them in tuck spots but there was just a lot um some postcards maybe in a religious journal um that one's really pretty so is that one maybe i need to do a garden book since i got Owen oh, the peacock there was just a lot, a lot in here. Envelopes for days. Pretty rose. And there was a couple of, um, this one's really pretty. There's a communion book in here somewhere. There was. Oh, that one's really pretty, a ballerina. OK, 
Okay, all right. There's another one that was in here that was really pretty. There it is. Okay. That's pretty too. Oops. Oh, those are even embossed, glittery. This one was in there too. And it had a lot of these little cutouts, which was bonus. I love finding little things like this in, in books and cards and just so much fun. Okay, so it has some stickers that come with it. And there was some old business cards. But it's stationary. This is more paper. I mean, it's, it's okay. And then the envelopes. But they come in these little cute little things that I can use. Okay, so that is it for my first haul of 2021 for junk journals. And I hope to share more with you. If you like it, just give it a like. And I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye.